Today, Hi. we got some exciting news. And we're back. Well, we don't have exciting news. But today's a new day. Today's a new video. We're not back. From now on, from this point on, forward. putting my foot down, uh -oh. we got to start making the videos a little bit more hype. Because in the last few days, we've been a little Debbie Downers. Especially that guy over there. You want to tell people why you've been Debbie Downer? Got bills, huh? Oh, he has bills. Anyways, we're gonna talk about that. So today we got this mamba jamba. It has became the day that we start on the razor. Well, I guess today doesn't mark, make it the official day, right? Because we started it yesterday. We just kind of started it yesterday. So for you guys out there, the previous video, you guys saw a little bit of a razor action. Uh -huh. So that's this man back here took it upon himself. To make the executive decision to begin on the Polaris Razor 800. Although, the Civic SI is still in jack stands. So anyways, today we got to somehow manage time to compression test this. And on a good note, hopefully the compression comes back good and we can post it for sale with a little bit more accurate results. What do you think? I like it. I like it like that. So, oh baby, I like it like that. I like it like that. Hey baby, you're gonna get us copyrighted, Maluma. Man, look at that swag today, bro. Red on red. Jesus. The views on views on views. You're just flexing on the nation. That's because. I want to take a shout out to my trainer. Andrew? No. Oh. Uh, this guy named Randy Kanaya. Oh, really? Is that why you haven't been showing up? <laughs> I haven't been showing up. Let me tell you what my trainer's been eating for the last couple days. Let him know. Wendy's. Donuts. Cookies. Onion rings. Fries. Roscas de Reyes. Some cream cheese sandwich, something, something, somethings. Margarine. Don't forget the hot chocolate. Hot chocolate. And the PB and J Smuckers. PB and J Smuckers. That's what kind of been eating. That's what I've been eating. So today marks the first day I return to the gym and my diet. Back on the diet. <laughs> so hopefully this time we we don't derail. <laughs> but speaking of derail, look at that tire. But just for the viewers, I've been, I've been staying on the diet and going to the gym. Yeah, you're doing good. Let's give him a round of applause. <laughs> yep, there it is. Round of applause. So yesterday, Jeremy tells me, <clears throat> Randy's got me going all over town looking for this custom clamp. What do you mean a custom clamp? Yeah, this custom <laughs> collar for. Uh, this like butt connector looking thing. I was like, a custom one, huh? He says, yeah. He says, he's got me driving everywhere looking for it. I said, well, how does it look? Well, this is what it's supposed to do. And I go, oh, really? I said, you know I made that, right? He goes, what do you mean? <clears throat> I said, yeah, I said, that thing you're looking for? That crimp? I made that. He goes, no. I said, yeah. I said, come here, let me show you. It's over here at the electrical seat. So I go to the electrical aisle and I had bought some metal conduit um, U mounts for our conduit front side. Like Happened to be that I also can make them do other things. So he goes, yeah, I remember exactly how it looks. It's got this line down the middle, it's silver. And I opened the package in Lowe's and I go, you need this? So you stole it? No, no, we have a box here. Oh, okay. And he goes, that's it. Randy had you driving all over town, huh? Okay, so now you said your story or Batman, what Batman told you. So that's what, I'm just, I want you to know what Batman said. Okay, well, let me clarify things. Here we go. 
First of all, never in my entire vocabulary that I talked to Batman did the word custom come out. Not once. Yet alone a custom clamp. Because one, that is not a custom clamp. It is just a regular O-ring butt connector, wire connector. That's all it is. Okay. Nothing else. Okay. So Batman, you're wrong. I never mentioned custom. Two, I didn't have him driving all over town. This is what I said. Hey, you gotta go to AutoZone tomorrow, right? Why? We need more paint. Look for <clears throat> this connector. This is what we need it for. These two wires, one wire comes out, we need to put it in, clamp it, heat shrink it, tape it, forget it, tie it, done. Okay, then, you know how Batman is, dude. Yeah. We experienced this wire cable thing. Yeah, absolutely. Distribution block, etc. Yeah, absolutely. So then he calls me and he says, I'm at O'Reilly's and they don't have it here. But I sent you a photo of what they do have here. So I go on my phone and I look it up. And I'm like, yo, Batman, that will work. Bring two of them. Oh. Bring a two gauge and bring a four gauge. He's like, but we're using four gauge wire. No I understand that. But we're stuffing, we are stuffing two four gauge wires in one. I'm like, so just bring the two gauge, just in case a four gauge won't work. And if it does work, then just return the two gauge. He's like, then he calls me back and he's like, yo, this O'Reilly's that I'm at does not have it. But they told me the one on Sunland does. So I'm going to go over there. Okay. And I'm like, you do what you want to do, dude. That's not important right now. What I need right now is that paint and the fuse box connectors, which one he didn't find. Did so he's like, okay, I'm going to go to O'Reilly's on Sunland because they have it there. And I was like, if they have it, bring it. It'll work. What does he do? Go to Sunland O'Reilly's. And calls me and says they don't have it there. That they have it in the one on Mesa. Mesa. So he goes and they tell him that they don't have it. No got it. So one, I don't have him driving all over town looking for a custom bracket or whatever he called it. Butt connector. He went out of his own way and looked for it. Okay. Because one, I don't think we cared about that butt connector yesterday, huh? We needed him here with the truck. That's what we need. So... That's why he was lying. But anyways, I hope you guys enjoy these story times, you know. Would you call them story times? Absolutely. Or are they more of like a venting source? They kind of go in both directions. Yeah. Well, the people enjoy it. I'm sure they do. So anyways, um. Make me an offer. Well, I'm going to run a ball and I don't know what they go for, so I don't know what to offer. Well, look, bro, they sell for about anywhere from three to five hundred bucks. I don't know. Some guy offered 250, never came for it, but if you make me a reasonable offer, it doesn't have to be 250. Shit, give me 150. But come for it. Here's the thing, if you don't ask, leave me not on scene because you don't have an iPhone. Leave you on whatever. But just does not reply. I was like, bro. I wish we were back in the days where we would they would charge for text messages. Remember those things? Yeah. Because <laughs> at least like that, you're spending on damn text. I don't know where that wire is at, actually. So, just like we expected. And it happens again. And it happens again. We're about to finish up the wiring for the battery on that vehicle. And we said, Batman you know, took the wire. There's, there's some wire that should be around here somewhere. So... We make a phone call. Cool. So then secondly, well, since we don't have that wire in here, hell, let's compression test the motor. What we talked about earlier. Well, guess where the wire and the compression tester are? With Batman. Easy there, monster. You're a monster, bro. Jesus, inspector. Anyways, while this cat's doing over there, I'm over here working on Batman's headliner. So, turn your foot, put this in, and let's go check up on the Razor, see what's the deal. Thank you for putting that on pause, senor. Hi, we how you doing? We don't want to get ridden, copied. So, 
So, what are you doing over here? What's the status? Uh, Is the cage ready to come out? Seat. That's the baby seat, bro. I'm removing the baby seat because I'm ready to take the top roll cage off. Is the top roll cage gonna come off? All right. Jam it out, DJ. So have everybody ever wondered what a razor looks convertible? There it is. Cage is out. It looks a little funky, huh? It looks a little sin vergüenza. Looks a little wonky. Man, look at this. Look at this, widow. So when we give you the a few thousand dollar tab, this is at least you know what it's for. What it's for, because look at this. Look at these rusty ass bolts and stuff. Look at that. Gotta be using PB Blaster. I'm thinking we're gonna have to buy new hardware, dude. Some of this is. That's what I'm thinking too. I don't wanna break the news to him, but some of this hardware is trash. So, Wedo, if you're watching, which I know you are, hop on Amazon and source the bolt for the bolt and the nut for the cage, and I uh, get those ordered. I think it's four on top, right? And then the seatbelt bolt. Oh, and the seatbelt bolt and nut too. Here. You know geometry lines. What looks straight, what looks crooked. Yep. <clears throat> Tell me how that seat rail looks. I mean, I don't think it shows justice on the camera, but it's pretty damn crooked. Yeah. That's now, now it looks somewhat straight. straight, yeah. So. In your words, falta tuerca, huh? Well, that's, that's, I think my cousin's a Mexican, dude. He just, whatever works. You want me to leave this here so we know where it goes? I mean, it doesn't have a net. It sure doesn't. So it's going to fall off anyways. And it, that, I don't know if it's just me, but that bowl looks a little on the rusty. I mean, this looks like it's definitely not grade eight. Or B. No, it's grade five. Look at this. See the three lines? Yep. Let me see if the camera can get it. Yep. Grade five. So. So, anyway. I think a good idea would be to wash this thing, vacuum it and wash it so at least we're not rubbing our hands up in this nasty ass. Nope, I don't care. You don't get them? You're gonna dirty that clean ass sweater though. Oh, somebody's popping VTech. Watch, 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 watch. God. Your cousin doesn't care about this thing, does he? I don't know. Comment below. What do you think? He doesn't. Comment below if he cares about this thing. If we don't. So, every panel that comes, that comes off, we find something. Crazy. This is what you blow 20 grand in, bro. I was gonna mark their position, but I guess it don't really matter. Yeah, they're all, all over the place. That thing you're stepping on is wrapped around this main harness like a spider web. I was about to say, it kind of looks like a spider. God knows what this is for. I don't even think God knows. That's the problem. And I'm not sure why this just ends here. I don't think it's supposed to just end there. I think it got yanked or something. Struggling there? Yep, because I don't know what to do with this handle. What do you mean? Doesn't it come off? 
Pretty sure the twist is off. I thought so too, but did that Randy Power death grip. Oh yeah, I ain't doing that with the left. No cut. No cut. But this does look like it pops up. So what if there's a nut in there or something? Get that flat head in there. Oh, hey, car. Yeah? Guess what it is, car. Oh. Another Torx. Yep. Polaris and those Torx, huh? Yep. I think they're Lamborghini or something. Add it to the pile. I don't see no wires in here, huh? Huh? Oh, I just see them now. Yeah. Wow, huh? I'm just start cutting. I mean, I'm assuming all those wires are not from factory. So all those have to be to like the underlights, the LED bar. I don't even think the winch. I'm assuming the winch comes from up here. And just throw the zip ties in the floor, dude. We want more mess around. Oh, don't here. worry, I will. Okay. We got the floor out. And we just came across this. What'd you call it? Loaf of bread? Where? Right there. This thing? Dude, look at more dirt we dropped. But anyways, yeah. I don't even wonder why I'll call this. That's definitely factory. Polaris, I don't know what you're doing. No, I think this is wet. Don't know what you're doing. Yeah, I think this is wet. It's all wet as highly right here. Damn, dude. Nice, huh? Honestly, dude, I think we should just cut it all right there. Right there where you're holding your finger. And just pull it all back down that way. And we'll okay. see. Oh, I'm going to. We'll figure out where it goes because right here is uh, it's about a mess for us to just try to pull it all out. Like, what purpose does this even serve? These three like that. I don't know. Ask them. Bro. Sorry, I didn't quite catch that. Oh. Could you please repeat it? Now you, huh? Tell her to shut her up. Where? Is that a pocket rocket? Oh, shit. I wonder if it still works. Wow, this thing is garbage. Are those the cooling lines? Wow. Pretty that's, dope. That's actually similar to what we're going to do for the... Uh... I was about to say, that's a... Is that what... The only thing is they have it backwards here. They have a rear engine and a front cooler. And we're going to have a yeah. front engine and a rear cooler. Right. Wow. Oh, the light's going to the back too, huh? Yep, the underglow down here somewhere under the wheel well. Who would have thought, huh? Life is preparing us for the Beamer. You know, I just want to say something. That the bird is flying high? This is probably one of the worst installs I've ever seen. Oh, and I've seen some bad installs. I'm just gonna blast them like that, huh? Bad installs. And what I'm trying to say is I hope you didn't pay money for this. Uh, I think it was a DIY project. Well, that's understandable. No. That you should probably never install again. Yeah. So this is kind of a heads up if that four-seater turbo comes through. Don't touch it. Yeah. Just bring it to us. Yeah, just bring it to us. And we'll charge it. I mean, we'll, we'll touch it. That is a nice bird. It's a nice bird. Oh, I'm not gonna lie, cuh. I'm a little tired, cuh. Let me get the drill right there, cuh. I'm a little on the torque bits. Nobody cares about that switch. Well, I guess not anymore. Nobody cares about that switch. I mean, I did tell him all his switches were crap. Everything he has right now is crap with this, is what I mean. Mm -hmm. 
I think all the switches are gonna move from down there to the center console thingy. He said he had a switch box, but oh. I'm yet to see it. He didn't bring it. Oh, Jesus. Did you see that? All that dirt laying around almost it made me eat some doo-doo. Roll a wire for nothing. No, I think it was connected at some point. <laughs> it was not really connected. Wow. Let's just hope it was at some point connected because if it was not, wow. So that's the controller. Those are the two lights. In the front? Here's those two lights here. The one there. Are those the lights right there? The one over there. There's another one on the grill right there. What lights are those? Those headlights? No, these. Oh. Underglow. Wheel glow. I don't know if that's considered underglow because it's on the wheel well. I think underglow would be like down there, no? I think this misuse and abuse of zip ties should be dealt with accordingly. I don't think the zip tie gods are too happy right now. Why is it jiggling? So is that jiggling? Not jiggling? Yeah, because this shit's, he's got a hot chicken right here. Oh, the bolt broke? Wow. <sighs> I mean, this whole thing was hale chicano. Uh, look at that. Bro. What is it, bat? Look at it. Can't see it. Ooh. We have to rebuild over here. That's the problem. What's that noise? Well, that's the front noise. Mm-hmm. That's when you remember there's like some play. I'm assuming that's what it is. All I want to know is are we at a stopping point? Yep. All right. I think this is where we're going to call it a day for this. Like, comment, and subscribe. You heard the man's. Are we both wearing red? Down below. Oh, you should have seen it dirty with, with the red sweater. Uh, hey, that reminds me. Get your sweater. Look. Peace.